As we circle the new ramp in Marysville, we can see gravel being shaped and a new protective enclosure being worked on. There's not much change behind the utility building, but siding is being applied to its end. The east side of the dock remains a convenient storage area, and the mystery object continues to sit in the middle. But when the light revealed that its manufacturer is Stemmen Technik, it became very likely that it's the charging arm for the ferry. Here's a look at that protective enclosure a couple of days after our first view. If we look beyond it, you can see a channel has been formed to carry the cabling for the charging arm. Some great work has been done to fabricate the ramp that will serve the ferry. And there's also a lot of work going into landscaping. The ramp is a substantial structure with its construction demanding skill and experience. Landscaping work is always a significant sign that a project is nearing its completion. Running out towards the finger dock, we can have a look at the area where the gangway is being finalised for the foot passengers. But the crowning achievement of the last day before a long weekend was a major concrete pour on the dock. A careful eye was kept on the whole proceeding by a watchkeeper on the bridge of the ferry. Laying large concrete slabs is very much a team sport and this crew is very clearly a strong team. But there was still more going on on a busy Friday. Over at Dawson Point, new fenders were being placed on the dockside, critical to the introduction into service of the Wolf Islander 4. Thanks for watching this update and please consider subscribing. <laughs>